Okay everyone, welcome to Matt's MTG Marketplace. We are going to be looking at this collection. I put about $1,900 into it. Um, we have a couple different categories we're going to be looking at as far as for showing the value here. Let's slide this over. I'm going to move these out of the way as we go through them. Um, we'll get out the cards in here too. Let's see. So basically the story about this was I had a friend that was going to pick it up. He realized that he probably wasn't going to be able to get it. So he sent the guy my way. The person wanted um, roughly $2,300 for this collection. Um, but as I went there to site visit it, I just saw uh, there's like a lot of water damage stuff. There's things on the binder that we're running into like as far as issues go. Um, and then I, he only had, it gave me like 10 minutes to look at it. So I did not want to risk it for the biscuit at 2,300. So I basically countered with roughly $1,900. This is in Malaysia. So the conversion rate and, uh, we took out a few cards that were he priced high, but they had water damage, so that helped kick down the cost quite a bit because I didn't really want to deal with water damage cards. And yeah, so this is what we have. Now, I'm going to start with the cards that I knew I was getting, okay? So these are all cards that I knew uh, were included in this collection. So, got some OG Force of Will. Two copies. Great cards, original art. Urza's Incubator. Got two grindstones. Soldevia Excavations. Fantastic card. I absolutely love this. Get to add two to your mana pool, or you can look and uh, basically you can scribe one. Veldegriff, got three fourth ed mount mana vaults, so that's nice. City of Solitude, got two copies. Lake of the Dead, fantastic hit. I haven't actually owned a copy, so to get one in here. And the ones in here, and most of all, mostly, are close to near mint. Um, I think there's a, you'll see it in here, there's one that's a little damaged. Um, two Sylvan Libraries. Squandered Resources. Got three Worldly Tutors. And yes, I did price this after the announcement of the reprints of the medallions. So, but I was pumped to get these because they're playable and I'm getting into Commander. Four Pearls. Three Jets. Three sapphires, three emeralds, two ancient tombs, a brushland, wasteland. These are great. So 11 lotus petals, which I have two bopper decks that I have that need those. So there's two places that's going into there. Uh, Birds of Paradise from 4th edition, Mystical Tutor, Mirage, Winding Canyons, got two copy. This is that one I was talking about was damage. So in the binders, there is damage on the top of some of the pages. And so um, that's why I was able to talk down the price as well. Um, Safe Haven. Yeah, it's the Chronicles edition, but it's a great card. You get to play to an exile, tap an exile creature basically every turn, and then you can just put them all on the board when you sacrifice. Safe Haven. Frenetic Afrit. A play set of Null Rods. OG Atticar Wastes. Mystic Remora. Got a few of those, five. Phyrexian Negator, 
a fourth ed wrath of god a portal three kingdoms we assassins and a portal three kingdom we strike force get some of that og horsemanship so with the cards that i knew i was getting uh It came out to roughly 2,000. So I have made back my money. Um, of course, there's the time to sort this in, take it, get it all cat uh, cataloged, and then make do with the space because there's also a ton of bulk. So the next thing to look at as far as value goes. So we've already made the money back, $2,000. These are all basic lands. Uh, priced them all out, averaged them. They're about 75 cents a piece. So this is all Tempest lands. Then you go to your fifth ed lands. And then we switch to Ice Age, if you look over here on the left. And then it goes to fourth ed, and then it goes to Mirage. So there's roughly, I think when I counted them, five, uh, 500, it's like 498 basic lands and with an average cost of 75 cents a piece, um, you're looking at about $370 in basic lands right here. Um, that's if you sold them individually. I know if you do lots with play sets of each art and stuff, you can actually go higher, like get more of a premium if you do it eBay style. But yeah, we're just gonna say TCG player, $370. So we're sitting at 2.37K as far as value from this collection. 2.37K. Just moving the cards out of the way as we go through them. So next, um, I do play Popper. And so these are all the popper staples. So that is the reason why I did keep Blue Elemental Blast in here from 4th Ed is because um, it's only like a 35 cent card, but I use it a ton. So I included it in, um, but yeah. So Blue Elemental Blast, we got some Brainstorms, Ice Age Brainstorms, got your 5th Ed Counter Spells. Your fourth ed counter spells, ice age counter spells. Uh, some of the things are these sleeves are old, so they're kind of stuck together. Um, Tempest counter spells, got your hydro blasts, your red elemental blasts, fourth ed lightning bolts. Pyroblast, Dark Rituals, and yeah, maybe this person was a, loved the, loved the color black in his decks because the Dark Rituals go on for days. Love that artwork. Ice Age, nice. And then some 4th Ed Dark Rituals. So all those popper staples essentially came out to $298. So roughly $300. So we are at about 26 okay, $2.6 dollars so far out of this collection with the basic lands and the popper staples. Then... Um, I know in America, some people are saying, uh, according to like forums, that foreign black borders are hard to move, but I live in Southeast Asia, live in Malaysia, so it's not as hard here to move them, but just got some nice ones. These are just the ones that are over a dollar. And then the lands. The lands, the lands, the lands, the lands, yeah. So these are mostly traditional Chinese and uh, Japanese, but the ones that I really like are the Dark Ritual, the Wild Growth Looks Sweet, and the Red Elemental Blast. I mean, the Vice is dope too. But yeah, 
So the foreign black border only counted the dollar plus up, got tons of foreign black border, but only counting the dollar and up ones, that is another 170 bucks towards the collection. All right, now we're gonna go in and we're just gonna look at these. So these are all, um, these are all dollar cards. So we're just gonna kind of go through them, let you see them. Extinction, I love this. Destroy all creatures of any creature type of your choice. It's a very selective wipe. Galbaird, you know, they'll keep one life. So these are all $1 cards. Sorceress Queen. Hypnotic Spectre. Akujin. Desolation. Very fun. Fun card. These, there are so many amazing black enchantments back in the day. Pillar Tombs of Aku. Blanket of Night, great uh, mana screwing ability. Make each mana producing land a swamp in addition to its normal land type. Ashen pow uh, Powder, Tainted Scepter, Spectre, sorry, Fertile Contract, Fatal Lore, Catch a Greed. One of the most hated uh, card abilities is the Ante. Uh, no one liked Anti. That's not greed, sorry. I was thinking of the other uh, card that's uh, in here. Another Shadow, Will O' Wisp, Spoils of War, Lush Rock, Flow of Maggots, Minion, Minion of the Wastes, Grave Bind, Earl Denizen, Grandmother Sangir, nice, Black Carriage, and a Nightmare. Fifth Ed. The other one isn't super valuable. All right. Oh, let's do the blue dollars. Another Portal Three Kingdoms. Not many, but there's some here. Escape Shapeshifter, River Merfolk, uh, Chain Stasis, Flooded Shoreline, Bazaar of Wonders. That is a fun artwork right there. Teferi's Imp. Got Flash. A card before an ability. <laughs> Hakeem Lore Weaver. Title Control, Dance of Many, Magical Hack, some Drain Powers, Reality Twist. This is a really fun card in Commander. You can really mess with people's decks. And it's got an expensive cumulative upkeep, but if you play it right, it can give you some advantage. Zer's Weirding, uh, Atai is familiar, two of those, Tolarian Serpent. Vizoa, Insight, Teferi's Veil, Prosperity, Rainbow of Freet, she copies that one, Exhaustion, Cloud Pirates from Portal, Reign of Power, Bunch of Shadow Rifts, Bunch of Shadow Rifts. And they just keep going. So I'll tell you the value of all the dollar up cards once we get through them. But uh, I'm not doing a quick one. This is just a total overview to see how we did. Recall. Got a clone from Revised. Energy Vortex. And these are a bunch of Dan Dans. And then we start the greens.
Yeah, so I think these actually just went down. I already had put them into the app, but these are like sitting at like 80 cents, 75 cents. But local market here in Malaysia, hard to find. People like to play Vitalize. You can untap all your creatures. Roughly, I think I've sold like on auction a couple of copies for three bucks or so. So some cards, even though they're under a dollar, they can go depending on your market. But lots of Vitalize. Rushwood Elemental, Lurgoyf, Dirt Coil Worm, got some Thinhorn Elves from Ice Age. Reap. Got some chokes. Great card. Bunch of muscle slivers. Abroth, Dense Foilage, Wall Ooze, Fungus Elemental, some Instill Energy, Tanya Song, got the 4th and 5th Ed, Primal Order, got a Regrowth from Provised, Nature's Wrath, I'm going to try to show all the cards, but don't want to take a super long time. It's because these are the only dollar range. Bunch of summer blooms, early harvests, Gaia's blessing, nature's lore, and a bunch of different arts, fourth ed portal, bushwang. All right, there's the greens. Goblin Shugan. Uh This is the only art that's like a, worth a dollar. So we got a bunch of fire blasts. Some Shockers, Crimson Hellkite, Rothy Dragon, uh, Stark of Wraith, Ancient Ruins, Heart of Bogarden, Dwarven Therm... Uh, <laughs> wow, well, can't even say it. I'm tired. Goblin Warrens, two different arts. Mana Barbs from Fourth, Earthquake, got a few. Land's Edge, Chronicles, Power Surge, Fourth, Barbarian Horde. Portal Three Kingdom, some lava, some training spirit, Ember Wild Jin, Crimson Hellkite, Telum Tor, Rays, Bogarden Phoenix, Cuckoos, Boltovian Hydra, Total War, Chaos Moon, Bandville Omen, Goblin uh, Flotilla, it's great, Island Walk, and you can give. Uh, you can give first strike to your goblins, so that's really good. Fire Tempest, Soul Warden. Got some Zalharim. Alright, so we're into the whites. Formation. Aratog, Spear Guide, Alabaster Dragon, Sarah's Blessing, Good Card, Truce, Exile, Sustaining Spirit. So, there's, as you can see, there's a bunch of low end RL cards so far, like Reserveless cards Ivory Gargoyle, Sworn Defender, Sadar. Jabari. Very fun. Summon Legend. He is a knight. Doesn't say it. Uh, actually, there's some printings, depending on uh, geography, that actually have the knight and don't have the knight on it. So, yeah, we'll go for that. It's a variant. Um, Auspicious Ancestor. Year. 
Very good card, like it. Divine Retribution. Rashida Scalebane. Spectral Guardian. Jabari's Influence. Celestial Dawn. Soul Echo. Sarah Angels from 4th. Balances from 4th. Uh, Northern Paladin from Revised. Call to Arms. Lightning Blow. Uh, General Jarkel, Energy Storms, Hand of Justice, Real Unicorn, Archangel. Fatih Dal, Mountain Titan, Flooded Woodlands, Chromatic Armor. There's another low end uh, RL card, Earthlink. Uh, whenever a creature card goes uh, into the graveyard from play, that controller also has to sack a land. Very fun. Um, Storm Spirit. Winter's Night. Wandering Mage. Misfortune. Circle of Despair. Malignant Growth. Energy Bolts. Wild Caliph. Rock Basilisk. As Mira, Holy Avenger. I do like the art on this one. Deliriums. Benthic Jin. Discordant Spirit. Lyrian Gargoyle. Wellspring. Warping Worm. Firestorm Hellkite. Zebra Unicorn. Another Emblem uh, Caliph. Christian Dragon. Four copies of that. Some, some decent Chronicle cards, Chromium, Juggernaut. So we got Jinx Ring. Now I really do love the uh, old artifacts. There's so much fun stuff in these old artifacts. What was once a ridiculous card. Um, Fire Diamonds. Ivory Tower, Razor Pendulum, Little Bottle, Bone Masks. Uh, this is a uh, Floodwater Dam, that's right. Phyrexian Portal, Grinning Totem, Soldelvi Dagger, uh, Dagger, Mangara's Tome. Got some racks from Fourth. Felwar Stones from 4th, and a 5th Steel Golem. Those are fun. 4th uh, Ed Library of Lings, and then I think it's like 2 5th Eds. Yep. Poxlick Charms from Homeland. So that'd be Golem, Amulet of Kuz, uh, Aeus of the Meek, Helms of Awakening. Yeah, in the comment section, let me know uh, what cards you see in here that you're like, oh, I'd love to see those up close or whatever, because I can always do some shorts afterwards or uh, go slow through a certain section of the $1 cards or when we get to the higher-end ones back here. Um, Zelen Sword, Jinxed Idol, Puppet Strings, a few copies there, Living Armor from the Dark, Ashnod Silex, Alliances, Acidic Dagger, uh, Quoma Spell, another Ivory Tower, a bunch of Urza's Power Plants, and Mine, some Snow Covered Swamps, Snow Covered Plains, Snow Covered Mountains, uh, Scabland, Pine Barrens, Salt Flats, Sky Shroud Forest, Dwarven Holds, Dwarven Hold from Fallen Empires, <clears throat> Sand Silos, Bottomless Vault, Sheltered Valley, Grasslands, Mountain Valley, Bad River, Everglades, Land Cap, Lava Tubes, Timberland Ridge, 
Velt River Delta and floodplain and a sandstone needle. So those are all of the cards between a dollar and a dollar ninety nine. So going through all those, that was roughly another thousand dollars. It's like a thousand and eighty, a thousand ninety dollars. So so far we are up pretty good on this collection. Um, next what we're going to do is we're going to go through and so this side is all two to three dollars and this side is um, basically four to a hundreds. All right so we got our mistress factory draw fifth ed Urza's Towers gotta get those Urza lands there snow-covered forest Heart of Yam Yavima. Uh, heart comes into play, sacrifice a forest or bury it. You can add one to your mana pool or you can give plus one plus one counters till end of turn. Um, Snow covered island. Caldera Lake. Add a colorless mana or you can do a blue or red. Do some damage to yourself. Sky Shroud Forest. Ghost Town. Uh, close mana, you get to return it to your hand. Uh, good for landfall decks. If you don't have an extra land in your hand, you can just snap this one back, put it back down. Um, you can, of course, uh, tap it for mana first, which is always good. Halls of Mist, that's an RL. Uh, it's a reserveless land. Uh, Surprise and Scurry. Carpluzen Forest. Glacial Chasm. Another forest, Boldivian Trading Post, Underground River. It's like actually a $10 one. Um, Nightmare, Uncle Istvan from uh, the Dark. Waves of Terror, Frixian Tribute, Krovacon Horrors, Infernal Darkness, Royal Assassin, Bounty Hunter, Maddening Imps. Those are fun. Uh, Bone Dancer. Infernal Tribute. I'm just going to take a quick drink of my coffee. Yeah, so, so far, what do you guys think of the collection? So, we're going to finish up pretty quickly. We're going through this all. Um... <clears throat> what do you think the final total is going to be? So don't cheat. Final total, where do you think you're at? Um, forbidden Ritual. Kevex Spite. Catacomb Dragon. I'll try to at least stop on a card, so that way if you want to pause it and look at it, you can. Uh, Shaku Endbringer. Harbinger of Night. Withering Boon. Got like six of those. Dystopia. Tortured Existence. There's a very fun uh, popper deck that's very grindy, but it's built around Tortured Existence. Death Pits of Wrath. Bad Moon from Fourth. Hell Caretakers from uh, Chronicles. Bubbling Muck. Mana Short. Narwhal. Winter's Chill. Uh, Dominating Elicid, Wu Admiral, Tolarian Entrancer, Dan Dan, lots of Dan Dans, uh, Teferi's Realm, alright, Shimmer, sorry, get a, that in there, another Drain Power, Steel Enchantment, Mana Severance, Tradewind Rider, Psychic Vortex, Kukemsa Pirates, Political Trickery, Mist Dragon, Desertion, Three Wishes, Chronotog, Polar Kraken, Wall of Kelp, Still Energy, Gargantuan Gorilla, 
Don't want to mix those up. Canopy Dragon, Afia Grove, Natural Balance, lots of those. Spontaneous uh, Generation, Wall of Blossoms, got quite a few, and Nature's Revolt. All lands are 2 2 creatures. Verdant Forest, got some Elvish Spirit Guides, Snowblind, Pale Bears, Thermocarst. Fungal Bloom, Spore Genesis, Verudian Enchantress, got some copies, um, Spring of Eternal Peace, Almond of Fire, Heat Stroke, Alyssa Auction, Hivis of the Scale, Dwarven Miner, Elkin uh, Lair, Mudslide, uh, Maraxis of Keld. Nice. Just gotta make sure these don't fall over over here. Some more of them. Dwarven Miner. Goblin Bombardment. Chaotic Goo. Got some smokes from Forth. Hammer of Bogarden, Relentless Assault, Glacial crevice, uh, Crevasses, Ball Lightning, Spirit Mirror, Marble Titan, Hannah's Custody, Island Sanctuary 4th, 5th, Null Chamber, Eye of Singularity, Enduring Renewal, Avenging Angel, Royal Decree, <clears throat> Equipoise, Walnuts, Ice Cauldron, Jeweled Amulet. You know they got room, I'll just start putting them like this so I don't have to worry about them falling over. So we're into the artifacts. Artifacts, like I said, they're always fun. Jeweled Amulet, Thrawn Tome, Xanthic Statue, uh, Echolopile, Snake Baskets, lots of Phyrexian Walkers, those are great, Fur Popper, zero mana cost, zero three, lots, 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 Gusta Scepter, Amulet Unmaking, Storm Cauldron, Gosium Strip, Triskelion, Caltrops, Howling Mines, Ankh of Mishra, Sands of Time, Triangle of War. As you can see already back here, there's already more of those. Love stealing uh, other people's creatures by tapping this. Marie Grubarit, Fire Covenant, Purgatory, Reflect Damage, Guiding Spirit. Suleiman's Legacy, Corrosion, Limdol's Vault, Skeleton Ship, Nicol Bolas from Chronicles. Still a $4 card, even though it's Chronicles. Um, Reparations, Grim Feast, Righteous War, Pygmy Hippo. All right. So that was the two to three dollar range. So I went ahead and when I was sorting this, I just called it mid tier. Um, so these mid tier cards put us at about another thousand dollars. So a thousand seventy, a thousand eighty, almost almost eleven hundred. So our one dollar cards almost put us at eleven hundred, and sorry. Ah, uh, pain in the butt. Yeah, so almost put us at 1100 And then these ones almost put us at 1100 also. So just within the dollar to $3 range, we got about 3000 ish um, 
about three thousand or so dollars. I'm sorry, two thousand. About two thousand dollars right there. Okay. So next, we're gonna look at these. Go from four up to around a hundred is the highest. So this foreign black border is pretty good. It's like 20 bucks. It's that safe haven again, which is like you can tap an exile and then sack it and bring back all the exiled creatures you'd uh, used. Uh, foreign black border, Urza's Tower. Got a City of Brass Chronicles. Rainbow Veil. Griffin Canyon. Got three, four playset. This is the uh, arena. Um, this was from a Harper Collins thing. You'd buy a book back in the day. You cut out a coupon. You would bring it to the bookstore, and then you would be able to pick a promo. Um, the other one would be a Mana Vault was one of the other ones. Teferi's Isle, tap for two. Crystal Vein, blasted landscape, some gemstone mines. Virtue's Ruin, Commander Grevenilvec, Douthi Embrace, Urborg Justice, Carrion, Forsaken Waste, Spoils of Evil, I suppose War Spoils of Evil, <laughs> Thrill Champion, some Animate Deads, all from 4th and 5th. Endless, cat uh, endless Cockroaches, Sacromancy, some Pox, in the Ice Age as well, some Doomsday, just pulled a list card of that recently, <laughs> Buried Alive, very fun, Spirit of the Night, Some more of those, Rituals of the Machine, Baron Sanger, uh, Koskun Falls, Dance of the Dead, Calling the Weak, Living Death, Coffin Queen, got two of those, uh, Demonic Consultation, those were fun to hit, Necropotence, also fun to hit, Necromancy, Zombie Master, Fourth, Fifth, Corpse Dance. Here's what these were fun to be surprised with. Some OG reanimates. Love to see it. Tombstone Stairwell. Shallow Grave. Shallow Grave. Sorry, just adjusting here real quick. All right, grab some more. Arcane Denials. The Shield and Sword art variant. In case you didn't know what an Arcane Denial does, there you go. Hercules Recall. Mystic Remora. Some Merchant Scrolls. Polymorph. Tanawa. Bullass Shapeshifter, Windfall, Diminishing Returns, Propaganda, Meditate, some Stasis, Ancestral Knowledge, Paradigm Shifts, Pendulum Mists, Time Warp, Stasis, Thought Lash, Mystical Tutor, Illusions of Grandeur, Lord of Atlantis, Recycle, Lage of the Hollows. All right, let's keep going. Here's a reserve list goodie right there on the top. Quirion Druid, Ancestral Mass, Spike Weaver, Priest of Titania, some Horn Slivers, uh, Summer Bloom from Portal, Pattern of Rebirth, Lay, uh, Lure of Prey, Alamri's Vineyard, Root Maze, some Birds of Paradise from 4th and 5th, Nature's Chosen, had a nice uh, uptick recently, 
Uh, misprint, Bolduvian Bears. See the blue, see the blue ink bleeding across. You can see it in the words there uh, as well. Hermit Druid, Fast Bond, Concordant Crossroads, Kesa, Hall of Gemstone, Seeds of Innocence, Natural Orders, Earthcraft. Oh yeah, that was my first copy of that. Miri's Guile to mobilize. All right. All right, let's just get these all set up. Got some smokes in fifth. Rock Hydra. Game of Chaos. Fairchild's War Riders. Some Goblin Kings. Those are fun. Mana Flare. Game of Chaos. Fire Dragon. Jokel Hops. Shivan Dragons. Fervor. Apocalypse. Furnace of Wrath, Chaos Sphere, some more in Ice Age, Winds of Change, Martin Stormgald, Goblin Recruiter, got some copies of that. Claw, Final Fortune, Blood Moon, Goblin Bomb, Firestorms, Sarah Avatar, Wrath of God, Flickering Ward, Or of Silence, Winds of Wrath, Dust to Dust, Remembrance, Suberry Golden Feather, Armageddon, Retribution of the Meek, Enlightened Tutor, Debt of Loyalty, Serenity, Peacekeeper, Reconnaissance. All right, now for me, the most exciting thing is what we're about to cover, and that is the artifacts um, that came in this collection. Um, I was blown away by them. They were totally things that I were, was hoping to see. Um, I was su surprised to see them, honestly. Um, so let's do this. Despotic Scepter, Conchorn, Zern Orb, Urza's Bobble, Here's the bobble again. Thran Dynamo, Heartstone, some Lodestone Bobbles, Shield Sphere, Curse Totem, Ashnod's Altar in uh, Chronicles, Ashnod's Altar in Fifth, Well of Knowledge, Jester's Mask, Helm of Possession. Triskelion Foreign Black Border. It's like a $25 Black Border card. Bubble Matrix. Meek Stone in fifth. Teferi's Puzzle Box. Helm of Obedience. Didgeridoo. Static Orb. Phyrexian Devourer. Tika's Dragon. Altar of Dementia. Scroll Rack, Mana Web, Winter Orbs, 4th and 5th, Anvils of Borgat, Borgarden, and then Phyrexian Dreadnoughts. I was surprised to find these. I was not expecting these to be in this collection. Um, those were big hits. Uh, Foreign Black Border, it's about $15. 
So those artifacts were nuts. Absolutely nuts to see. Lord of Tressorhorn, Breath Dealer's Crypt, Cadaverous Bloom, Crystalline Sliver, Squandered Resources, Frenetic Afrit, and Altar of Bone. So that, that was the collection buy. So in total, uh, well, first those high tier cards uh, that we just looked at on this side. So this one was about 1100 On this side only was about 3.7K. $3.75,000. Uh, so in total, so all the categories we looked at, what, we looked at the basic lands, which was 370 We looked at the foreign black borders, which was 170 The popper stables, which were 298 uh, The cards that I knew were coming in the collection, the first ones we looked at, right, uh, with the force of will and everything, that was um, $2,000. The one dollar cards was was one thousand and eighty. The mid tier was one thousand seven, and the high tier, the last ones we looked at, were three thousand and seventy three. So the total for this collection buy, so put in one point nine, and the total takeaway value was eight thousand seven hundred and ten, uh, according to TCG Marketplace. So, what do you think of the collection? Um, I thought this was a really good buy. I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do. I thought I'll at least match value on the cards I knew. Um, but I was really hoping that could get a, a lot more value out of it. One, to sell what I don't need. Uh, and then flip it into cards that I want to build with. Um, use it for capital to invest in some sealed product. Get some sealed uh, boxes for opening here on the channel. And yeah, so what do you think of the collection? Pretty good? Basically tripled money. So in that sense, I was pretty happy about it. But yeah, love to hear your thoughts and uh, sub to the channel. Hopefully you get some more really cool vintage uh, card hauls like this. All right, bye.